In this video for the Accelerated Geometry Mach-Q review, I will be um, going over numbers 1 through 13 in this video for the Accelerated Geometry Mach-2. So these first questions are on transformations. So here, for example, given these vertices, and if you need to, just looking at one at a time and then see if it matches for all. So I notice that k to 1 is now k prime negative 2 negative 1 which means they just change the coordinates, which shows a rotation of 180 degrees when you just change the sign. So like for example, two, four, now negative two, negative four. And M was at five, four, negative five, negative four. Now number two here, again, same thing. Focus on K, right? K is at two, one. Now K prime's at negative one, negative two. So now not only did we change the signs, but now we also switched the X and Y, right? So now notice how here we switch them. So this shows the reflection over Y is equal to negative X, but let's check. L's at two, four, now negative four, negative two. Notice how we switched the coordinates, the X and Y, and changed the sign and same thing for M. So now in number three, we have these vertices for our triangle that is rotated 270 degrees clockwise, which is the same as 90 degrees counterclockwise, or just the good old 90 degrees, and then reflect across the x-axis. So when, um, when we uh, rotated 90 degrees, we change the sign of the y and switch them. Then again here, um, when we reflect across the x-axis, we change the sign of the y. So here we change the sign of the y and switch our coordinates. Now we're just looking for b. So b here is at 2, 4. So we're starting at 2, 4. We're going to take that y and switch our coordinates. So now negative 4, 2. Now to reflect over the x, we change the sign of the y. So that's why the answer here is b. Then same thing here for number 4. We are first gonna take this point here and reflect over the Y, which means we're gonna change the sign of the X. So that means now O prime is positive four, negative one. Then we're gonna translate two to the right and two down. So add two to X, subtract two from Y, and that's why here the answer is B. So now five through eight, we're gonna use the image here, um, A, B, C, D, to answer our question. So now we're gonna just focus on point B for this one. We're gonna take our quadrilateral and rotate it 180 degrees. So B right now is at three, zero. So B prime, rotate 180, just change the sign, negative three, zero. Then B double prime, we're going to translate along this vector, which means we just add six and subtract nine. So the final coordinates are three, negative nine. Then here we're looking now only at point A. So point A right now is at negative four, zero. It is reflected over y is equal to x. So all we have to do is just switch the coordinates. So A prime is now at zero, negative four. Then we translate four units right. So here's our X and one unit down. Here's our Y. So we're gonna add four and we're going to subtract one from our Y. So that's why A double prime is at four, negative five, which is C. Then here we're looking at point D. But in the end, not only are we going to look for the final coordinate, but what is the single transformation? So D is starting here at negative 5, negative 5. And then we reflect across the y-axis, so we're going to change the sign of the x. So this is now positive 5, negative 5. Then we reflect across the x Axis. So again, we're going to change the sign of the Y. So now D double prime is 5, 5. So this is our final, which means if you noticed, 
we didn't switch them, we just changed the signs. So if we reflect negative five, negative five, so we reflect over the Y, so now it was here, and then we reflect over the X, making the double prime. Now, taking a look here at C, we reflect over the Y, so C is now going to be up here, and then reflect, oh wait, sorry, no, reflect over the Y first, sorry. So we're going to reflect over the Y, which would be here, and then reflect over the X, which would now be here for our C double prime. So notice how here, what is going to be that single transformation? And so in this case, by changing the signs, we could say that if we just change the signs that we rotated 180 degrees. So now here, we're just focusing same thing with point C. So here we go. So point C is starting at two, negative five. So C is at two, negative five. We reflect across the y-axis, so we're going to change the sign of the x, so negative 2, negative 5. Then we're going to reflect across y is equal to negative x, which means we switch the coordinates and change the sign of both. So C double prime is 5, 2, because we switch and change the sign of both. So this is our final. Now, what could be the single transformation to go from C to C prime? Well, notice here from the original, we changed the sign of Y and switched the coordinates. So that represented a rotation of 90 degrees. So now here in number nine and 10. So we're identifying the transformations. Now, no matter what, we could go visual and say, okay, well, to go from RST to the prime, the first transformation, this looks like the rotation of 90 degrees, right? But let's check with our coordinates. So R and R prime. You could choose any point, right? So R is at 1, 2. R prime is at negative 2, 1. So notice how we change the Y and switch the coordinates. Now we can also check with S. So S is at 1, 4. And then S prime is at negative 4, 1. So same thing. So here we've got a 90 degree counterclockwise um, rotation. Then to go from the prime to double. So here, actually I'll put that back. So let's take a look. Now visually, it shows a reflection over the y-axis. So let's check. Our double prime is at 2, 1, where we just changed the sign of the x. So let's check with our s here. So s double prime is now at 4, 1. So our second transformation is a reflection over the y-axis. So what is this single transformation? Well, we've already identified a couple of our coordinates. R started at 1, 2, and it ended at 2, 1. Well, notice all we did was just switch the coordinates. So let's check to see if this is Y is equal to X and check with S. S was at 1, 4, and double prime ended at 4, 1. So notice how we just switched the coordinates. So that single transformation is over Y is equal to X, the reflection. Now getting into our angle relationships. So now here, notice we have same side interior angles. This is acute, this is obtuse. So they are not equal to each other. They add up to equal 180. So you could set this up two different ways. You could say that 4x minus 12 plus 120 is equal to 180. Or some of you noticed, well, if this is 120, 
then this angle is 60 degrees, right? Because they add up to 180. And you could set it up as 4x minus 12 is equal to 60. Well, if you notice, no matter what, if I were to get rid of this, right, and subtract 120 from both sides, now you're right back where you started here in this equation. So now I'm going to add 12 to both sides. 4x is equal to 72. So when you divide by 4, you get b x is equal to 18. Now number 12, we're solving for the measure of an angle. So here we've got alternate exterior angles. And notice how both are obtuse. So they are equal to each other. We are looking for the measure of this angle here, AEA. So keep in mind, we need to first solve for Y, right? Then plug it back in to get our angle measure. So 3Y plus 53 is equal to 7Y minus 55. Now we go through and solve. So gathering our variable, subtracting 3y, 53 is equal to 4y minus 55. Now we just go through and solve for y. So adding 55, we're at 108 is equal to 4y. So now when you divide by 4, you get y is equal to 27. However, is B our answer? No, because that's just what Y is. Now remember, we're looking for the angle measure. So now you need to plug this back in for Y. So 3 times Y or 3 times 27 plus 53. So now here, when you multiply, you end up with 81 plus 53, which gives you 134, which is why the answer is C. Then 13, now we need to label A, E, B. So angle A, E, B right here is 3X plus 12. Then C, E, D right here, C, E, D is 6X minus 9. So notice their vertical and vertical angles are congruent, equal to each other. We are solving for the measure of angle AED, which is here. So this is the angle that we are solving for. So keep that in mind. We're looking for the measure. But let's go ahead first and solve for X, setting them equal to each other. 6X minus 9 is equal to 3X plus 12. And solving for X. So gathering the variables. Now 3X minus 9 is equal to 12. So when you solve your two-step by adding 9, 3x equal to 21, and x is equal to 7. So is our answer A? No, because we're looking for the angle measure, right? This angle E here. So it doesn't matter which one we plug it into. No. So let's go ahead and plug it into our green here. So 6 times x, which is 7, minus 9. So you get 42 minus 9, which is 33 or 33 degrees. So is this our answer? Is B? No, because that is the measure of this angle. We are looking for the angle AED, which is the linear pair, supplementary. So that's why you need to subtract 33 from 180. That's why the answer is B.